Educated and in love. Hello. And we want to thank you for tuning in. And we're going to jump right into today's topic because we have a lot we want to cover in a short amount of time. And so, if you remember last week, we talked about the three things that made our relationship work, which was trust, respect, and communication. And so, we want to bring back trust and communication, but we want to add another one to it today for what we're going to talk about, which is support. And to convey these three things, we're going to talk about Chutney's natural hair journey because it was this journey for both of us. Mm -hmm. And so she has her side of the story, I have my side of the story. And we're gonna talk about how we infused those three principles and it worked for us. And so um, we're gonna start off by letting Chetney just share uh, how we even got started. So a little over a year ago, um, I decided once and for all that I wanted to go natural and I was, I was gonna transition from being relaxed to natural. Mm -hmm. And I say once and for all because uh, about 2004, 2005, that time frame, I had tried to go natural at that point and I just didn't have the patience and just mentally I, I was not ready and so I reverted back to my relaxer. Well, during the third year of my PhD process, I decided once and for all, like I said, that I wanted to, to finally... After she met me. Yeah, <laughs> to finally <laughs> go through with this thing and so... Uh, there were several factors that played into that decision. Uh, two of the primary factors were that, um, one, I was tired of being a slave to my hair. At least that's how I perceived it. My hair played a major role in a lot of the decisions I made in terms of where I went, when I went, my uh, daily schedule or my physical activities. I didn't work out as much, and if I did, it wasn't as strenuous of a workout because I didn't want to my hair to be uh, to get sweaty and to, to you know to sweat out and look crazy um, and the second reason what oh I also didn't swim I, I really like swimming and I you know I can do a little bit of swimming and it's a good form of exercise but again I didn't do that because of my hair also I really just wanted to get back to um, I know it may sound cliche but get back to my roots I really really wanted to see what my natural hair texture was like and what my natural um, uh, curl pattern was and you know those are kind of all natural terms but yeah I really wanted to experience that because I felt as though I was not being the person that God made me to be and I know that even though I've always had long hair and that was naturally the length of my hair the way that I was wearing it was not the way that it grew out of my head and so I wanted to get back to that so I immediately dove into all kinds of research I mean I'm a researcher by trade so she was researching like she was researching her dissertation yeah. <laughs> it was almost the same amount of time yeah spent. literally I had become obsessed with natural uh, research there were several blogs several websites i became addicted to books. watching youtube videos i bought some books and she watched more youtube videos like then she don't even watch our own youtube <laughs> videos and she watched so many youtube videos yeah i did because i knew that this was a huge huge decision and right. i wanted to make sure that it was the right decision for me at this point in my life and it wasn't just being it wasn't just a, a fly by night kind of thing or overnight kind of thing or um, that i was falling into all the trends because it had become very trendy mm -hmm. to to go natural so i knew that i also needed to bring Corey in to the mix. I knew I needed to have his buy-in. I wanted to have his support, and it was important to me that he supported me on this journey. Mm -hmm. So I began sending him a lot of the information and telling him to read up on things with me. And I even sent him a video of a girl who went through her big chop because I wanted to let him know what that looked like and what it was gonna potentially look like on me. And um, so I knew that it was gonna be difficult for him. I didn't know how difficult, um, and I didn't know how he was going to literally respond, but I'll let him kind of talk to you about that. She came to your boy, said she wanted to cut her hair. Your boy said no. <laughs> your boy wasn't going for yeah, that. Yeah, he literally was Corey like, no. wasn't going for that. You ain't cutting your hair off. And 
But truthfully, I mean, that's really the way it went. But she kept sending me and communicating with me, sending me different links, sending me different videos, and explaining why she wanted to do it. And Yeah, because I didn't just want to tell you. Right. You know, that's really not how I roll, and that's not how our relationship was. I really wanted, again, to, mm -hmm. you know, for, for us to go through this together. And she kept me in the loop the whole time. Yeah. And she kept explaining, and so then I had to start analyzing why I didn't want her to do it. And it was more so because of world reasons. It, it had nothing to do with the process she wanted to take and it was more so of my own insecurities because of how as a man I was going to feel with a woman who had short hair and at the end of the day I had to go back to what I really love do I love her hair or do I love her as a person and I realized well I didn't realize I already knew it I loved her as a person and so that caused me to to back up and, and reanalyze things and I changed my mindset and supported her but before supporting her your boy did try to pull a few tactics to keep her from <laughs> Uh, cutting her hair. I tried to make her feel guilty like you I don't know. I just I, I tried everything in the book and I even want, tried to tell me that I mean, You ain't gotta tell people all that. <laughs> go ahead and tell me. He even tried to tell me that if I cut my hair and went natural that it was gonna cause more stress for me during my PhD program. I tried, your boy and even tried. for a second I really I believe that he really thought that and then it came out later that yeah. it was all just a ploy. I came back and apologized about that because yeah. I really did not want her to keep through everything at me but the kitchen sink. Her communication really did it led to me supporting yeah. because she really did uh, make she challenged me because that was something she was passionate about. Mm -hmm. So she she ended up getting that support. So after she cut it um, she was still a beautiful bald headed woman. <laughs> <laughs> but I no was. she was a beautiful woman with short hair and um, and, and I think we talked about how uh, you wanted to make sure that I, I, I still had, I was attracted to you, right? Yeah, because after the fact, uh, after I had cut my hair off, I really felt liberated. I felt very self-assured. I felt even more confident after having my hair cut than I did uh, when I was relaxed. Mm -hmm. And I was getting several compliments from everybody else. People were commending me on... Um, the fact that I had gone from such long hair to such short hair and how brave it was, but I still wanted to make sure that my significant other, my boyfriend at the time, because we weren't engaged, I wanted to make sure that he still looked at me in the same way that he did when I had long hair because that's how I met him. And so, um, that was the look. <laughs> so, so yeah, that was really important to me to make sure that he, that he was still attracted to me, that he was still, um, as into me as he was before mm -hmm. and he did several things to to show me that several things to to prove to me that when he's that you know prior to that he said he was going to still be there and right. support me and so after the fact he did several things to prove that his words were in fact true and a future video we're going to talk about is she just wants to hear it and or either way it goes vice versa he wants to hear but, it but um I knew that she cut her hair and she wanted, I knew just subconsciously that she wanted to know how I felt about it. And so I made it, a, it my uh, duty to tell her that you're still beautiful. You know, it's not about your hair. You're still a pretty girl, uh, bald headed, but you're still, still pretty. You. No, I'm joking. But I still told her I still love yeah. you. And one thing I wanted to do to show her that I supported the journey was uh, to buy her a shirt because it wasn't about her hair. It, and I bought her three shirts. This is just one of the Here's shirts one. that I bought for her. And um, that just shows her that I supported the journey because the journey was bigger than just her hair. And so if we bring all this back around as to the importance of this video, it's that we we feel that it's important to infuse those three things with whatever situation you're dealing with, not just hair. The hair was just a, an example. It was of just how, our, right, our, our, one of our, one of our examples. Yeah. And so, because the first thing, it was that communication we had, because honestly, we were on two sides of the field. Like, when you think of opposing teams, I was no, she was yes. Yeah. <laughs> and so, she communicated effectively with me, and we had a lot of conversations which led to me supporting you. And I think... It, we went from being on, I had to take my arm from around it, but since it's my team, I gotta put my shoulder on it. So we went from like this to being on the same team. And we, we were on the same team, and that's important is to support each other. So it's gonna be a lot of situations, financial situations. Um, let's, go ahead. So I, I think the main takeaway points are to make sure that you, again, communicate mm -hmm. with one another. Um, it, you really need to, to come to these decisions together. Right. Even though the decision to cut my hair was ultimately mine, 
But when you're in a relationship, there's two people. And like you said, you're a team. And you have to learn to work together and make big decisions that are going to affect the both of you. You have to learn how to make those decisions together, hence the communication. It's important that um, either partner have the support of the other partner um, because it just makes the process a lot easier. It makes yep. you feel better about um what you're going through for me it was hair it may be weight loss or weight gain or a financial struggle or um any kind of difficult transition or change and i think that was a, a, a big thing with this situation it was just a big change and something that we both had to get used to and even though i was the one whose hair was being cut off corey was still in the relationship and gonna have to deal with the effects of that and the support brings the trust you have the trust. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you work on all three of those things, and it'll make your relationship so much better. And so we have a new website, which is www.ybelove.com, and we thank you for the support and the love, and you have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye-bye.